Hello there, this is an introduction to my game called Master Decoder. If you're a fan of puzzle games, you'll probably find this game interesting. Although this is not a reskin of another game, but it is certainly a variation of the classic game Master Mai. It is played differently though, since there are more probabilities for each spot. I'll get into that in a second, but first let's start a game and see how it works. To start a game I just click uh, or tap on the play button. And here I would choose 4 cards out of 5. And I'll choose 2 colors. There we go, we are in, inside the play mode. So your goal here is to find out a hidden combination made of numbers and colors. The number can be anything between 1 to 7 and the colors based on how many you chose when you set up the game. In our case we chose 2. Okay, for the first guess I would say um, blue, 4 of blue, 4 of blue and 4 of blue. By the way, this is my own strategy, you can start it any way you want to. So to get uh, to see the results, I need to tap on this button. There we go. So we have some feedback here, as you can see. To understand uh, the meaning of each of these feedbacks, I can simply tap on, the, on this button uh, at the top. As it opens up this dialog. So these are the description of each feedback. You can read through and understand each of them, but I'm gonna tell you now, so because I already know them. So based on what we see here, let's see what we have. I've got one card, as you can see here, one card is the right color but I need to lower the number. And the next uh, feedback tells me that I've got one card with a right color, but I need to higher the number. And two of them, based on this feedback, means they are the right number, but they are the wrong color. So it means we have two four in this combination that we're trying to figure out but with a different color. So I'm going to ch like change these two and see how it goes. So apparently one of them was right. I'm going to choose that one. There we go. So now we've got two of them right. As you can see here, this feedback tells me. Again, we can open up the guide dialog to see the different descriptions alright so I'm guessing this one must be blue let's see no I was wrong so basically this one is absolutely um, for green this one must be blue and this one is absolutely for so one of these numbers, one of these fours must be higher. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to do four, choose uh, six, sorry. And I still need to increase the number. So we've got, I'm guessing the seven of blue is right, but it's not at the right place based on this feedback. So we can open up again, see, right card, just change the place. So I'm going to put this one to 7, and this one uh, must be blue, but it should be lower than 4. You might wonder where I am getting that feedback, it's right here, so you can see this orange one means uh, 4 must be lower than 4, so... Uh, I'm going to start off with 2. So we still need to go a little bit lower, so the 
next guess would be one. And this, I'm assuming this is going to be yes. Congratulations, you found a combination after eight tries. Uh, so this is how it works. By the way, you can also see submission was successful. It means uh, you also send off the result to the leaderboards. So you can compete with other people and see uh, and um, compare your score with other people. Uh, we're going to into that. We're going to see it in a minute. But this is basically the, the rules of the game. Pretty simple. You just need to guess. And based on your guess, you get some feedback. And you use those feedbacks to refine your next guess until you get to the right combination. So let's uh, get into the leaderboards. As you remember, we choose uh, two colors and four cards. So we can open up the leaderboards. So we can scroll down to find four cards and two color, which is here. So this is me previously playing this and I got a better score, six. But if I want to see who is the best for today, I can choose today here. Or if I want to see who is the best for this week, I can choose this. And I can also compare my score with my friend in my social group or I can see the among the whole people so by changing this option to from social to all so now I am uh, comparing with everyone not just my friends so basically yeah that's it thank you for watching and hope you enjoy the game